Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Today, guys, we're doing a review of a Grand Seiko Quartz, a 34 mil blue snowflake. Let's hear what I think. And guys, I haven't even put my watch on yet. Holy shit, I'm naked. Okay, guys, let's run the intro and let's discuss this watch. <laughs> Hi guys, Archie Luxury here on the Archie Luxury channel. Today, guys, I'm doing a paid review. That's right, guys. I am doing a paid review. And the watch in question is a Grand Seiko. It's a Grand Grand Seiko. And a bit of an interesting, I'm going to read you the request and let's go and discuss the watch here. Hi, Archie. Sama here. I have recently requested a video. Um, uh, I'm a big fan of your channel. I currently only use one watch and would like to know what you think. It's a Grand Seiko SBGX353. Blue snowflake quartz in 34 mil. I have seen your what does your watch say about you? Grand Seiko quartz video. I must say it basic. it's basically completely accurate. The watch is relatively small at 34 mil, but my wrist circumference is self of 6.5 inches. So it works. And as for why I use this watch, I use the Seiko SACM171 for over a year, even though it's a shider, until I could afford the SBGX353. As it was the watch I really wanted, even at the time I bought the SAMC blah, blah, blah. Issues I had with the, I don't know why he's telling me about the, the cheaper Seiko. He tells me it had a ticking, that the ticking of the seconds is too loud. There was no rated, well, just a basic watch. He goes, the SBGX353 seconds ticking cannot be heard unless you put your ear to the glass. There's a rate adjustment. It looks much better with its Zaratsu polished polishing. Box sapphire crystal and is more expensive at 3800 MSRP. Although I got it for 3200 from the AD. I previously owned a Shida mechanical watch, a Damasco uh, DS30, but could not stand it after some time due to the poor accuracy and movement noise. Because of this, I've used quartz ever since. With the SBGX353 having an accuracy of plus one or minus. 10 seconds per year. Nonetheless, nevertheless, I would one day like to own a Patek dress watch as they are extremely beautiful in my eyes. And then he gave me some photos of himself wearing the watch. So what do I think of this watch here? What do I think? Well, it's a very pretty watch indeed there. I must say I'm not a huge fan of the fully quartz models. If we jump onto the Grand Seiko website, let's have a look what these little fikers are going for. And they definitely are not cheap. Let's have a look here. So this watch here, <clears throat> it's 5650 Australian, as you said, 3800 American. Um, it's actually quite a nice looking watch. I love the blue snowflake, the simplicity. The only thing is, it's so expensive for a basic quartz watch says here it's minimalist. Yes, I agree with that. Very minimalist. It uses the 9F quartz caliber, uh, which is pretty damn accurate. Um, I, my God, I, I don't hate it. I like it. I like it. But you know what? I would have gone for a high beat or a spring drive. You want to watch with some soul. This watch here doesn't have the soul. That's what's missing is the soul. The soul 
is missing. And I mean, I'll be honest with you, you've taken some beautiful photos. Um, well, actually, there's there's a, a few photos here. You've taken a few photos in Japan, and um, I gotta be totally honest with you. Um, yeah, great watch, but it's more to collecting than just buying it i i mean i i don't understand your journey to be honest with you i'm a little bit confused uh what would i do <laughs> see i i would seriously say i would be going more for a spring drive you know the sizing look i think this is a start of a good little collection i don't dislike it at all i think it's a high okay i get it you're a bit of an anal fucker you're a very, uh, how do I put it politely, you're an annoying fucker who's, who wants absolute perfection, and, and it's not a perfect world. Um, I get it. You know, that's, that's the world we live in is not perfect. Everything is shit. It's, um, it's far from perfect. And I get it. I understand what you're, you're saying. But you do have to understand in life there, sometimes these sort of watches, um, you've got to go with what you love. And, 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 I, and, I, and I get it. My son, he has a beautiful, he's got a Grand Seiko. I gifted him. I'm going to bring this watch up on the screen now. I gifted him this watch for his 18th birthday. Grand Seiko Spring Drive. And I got to be honest with you, this has so much more heart and soul than the blue snowflake. Um, this is, here some photos that I, I took of the watch. And it's, it's again, the Shizitsu polishing is amazing. The attention to detail. And I was just mucking around, uh, taking a few little photos of it. Look at the, the movement. It's really well done uh there's a few things lacking i mean everything is is um it's all subjective but the thing i'm trying to say is here i would start building a collection okay what do you do in life what's your influence what is your 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 spirit so if you've started off the journey with one grand seiko i'd add a few more that's what i'd do i'd start adding a few more I can't see how you could go wrong. <clears throat> I'd probably, if you want accuracy, I would go spring drive. You want some heart and soul in the watch. So that's that's what I'd say. What do I think of your watch? Simple, absolutely simple. I mean, that technically is all you need. That is all you need in life. That will see you through. That'll see you through. Your grand seiko that you have there that will see you through all of life's journeys um i don't want to criticize it i think it's a it's a nice watch it's a nice watch however add to the collection what do you want a one watch man i mean look you can be a one watch but i would add spring drive and i'd be at a high beat add some key seiko move come on Make it happen. Make it happen. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, so to answer your question, you asked me there. You wanted me to tell you the watches. I think it's a nice watch, but I would add. I would add to this here. As I would like to know what you think. I think it's beautiful, but I would be adding a bit more. Always add more. Add more. I don't think it's good to stop at one. I would be adding more. Stick with Grand Seiko. No problem. Hey, stick with Seiko. Seiko. There's some great Seikos out there. A diver. Uh, just add, add, add. Because at the end of the day, life's too boring to have one watch. Life's too boring to have one. What are you going to do with your money? What are you going to do with your money? Come on. Let's enjoy life. It's not about being a tight ass. Tight ass until we die. That's not living. So I would say... Go for it. That's what I would say. Go for this thing. I would go for it. Add more watches and enjoy life. Guys, I'm Archie Luxury. And if you are looking for a watch in America, if you're looking for a watch in America, where would I go? 
there's only one place I would go in America, and that is... Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW.